McKenney Gristmill. From his knowledge of water power, Thomas McKinney took advantage of the fall of Onion Creek and built one of the area's first flour mills here in 1852. A cypress dam just above the falls blocked Onion Creek, and timbers anchored to the limestone with iron rods directed the, directed the water to the mill. A horizontal wheel, an early style of wind turbine, provided power to the machinery. Water escaped the mill through a tunnel excavate, excavated in the volcanic ash layer beneath the limestone. Although the mill may have had additional steam power and could have had attached could have had an attached sawmill, it was not a long-term success. The entire complex was washed away in a spectacular flood in the summer of 1869. The iron drive shaft and the wall foundations of the mill buildings and the iron anchor rods in the stone near the falls are all that remain. I watched a video on uh, concentrated solar power, like uh, mirror solar power yesterday, where they basically have a they have a targeted point at, in the high center location and they put mirrors all around it and they get the sun's reflection from the mirrors to point at one point and heat it up um, where it's extremely hot and then they have it connect to a chamber where they have water and the heat boils the water and then steam from the boiled water then propels a, turb a turbine to uh, give it mechanical power and I mean that's what that just reminded me of instead of using power of a, a stream or a river or body of water you're concentrating the sun's energy at a targeted point heating it up to a very high temperature and then having a, a basin with water that heats up and the steam from the heated water creates the mechanical energy to power the turbine instead of the flow of a natural body of water and it seems to be super efficient and um you know a, a method that seems to be popular for for the future there's a lot of uh, high hopes for that kind of uh natural energy I have no idea what I ate yesterday to leave that, but <laughs> I have no idea what animal fucking shit that. If that was me, I'd go to a doctor. I like going on hikes like this and spending, exposing myself to the natural, uh, you know, wood, the woods and nature and stuff. Because you get, um, when you think about it, the quality of air you get when you spend time in the uh, natural elements is uh, so much better than, you know, if you just went about your normal day in most cases for most people, uh, especially if you live in a city. Um, in specific cities have really bad air quality but um if you think about the importance of air quality if you scale it up from the importance of drinking uh quality water and staying hydrated um i think oxygen and air quality some countries are doing it they realize they have uh extremely high quality of air and they're capturing it and selling it 
to people willing to buy it in the world of supply and demand in the world of supply and demand and business um and like really rich people are buying or are fortunate enough to be able to purchase really um good quality air from different businesses in different countries around the world um but I, i think you know you just feel better um you know that day and the next day when you spend time in the in the natural natural wilderness you're around all these trees you're around all these plants you're getting a uh, extremely good quality of air for a long extended period of time whether it's a few hours whether it's a full day you go on a hiking or camping trip for a couple a week or two weeks um just being conscientious of the quality of air you're getting uh, I think it's it's pretty important, and I think it's it's heavily underlooked in society in today's world, especially uh, you have corporate businesses in this country that just kind of, just kind of keep their employees in uh, you know enclosed spaces inside where they can pump out work efficiently and you know do well for the company economically, but the quality of air that they get on a daily basis is just artificial and fake and. Um, but they pay for medical benefits, so it doesn't fucking matter, right? Their air, their air quality on a daily basis throughout their career doesn't matter because they pay for medical benefits. So they'll, you know, whatever happens to them, they, they'll be covered. But why do that to yourself if you don't have to?